This is our last day in Scotland, and our journey so far has been nothing short of incredible. It's no wonder that Lonely Planet named the Scottish Highlands as one of the best travel destinations in 2019. Our very last stop on this trip is the northernmost city in the UK, Inverness. Inverness is known as the capital of the Highlands and is the ultimate gateway for exploring the most beautiful parts of Scotland. On this trip, we were staying in a beautiful B&B called Cambeth Lodge, which is close to the heart of Inverness city centre. We had our breakfast, which was delicious, and we headed to our tour meeting point. Because a lot of the most scenic areas in the Highlands are also remote, the easiest way to see a lot on your trip is to book on either a group tour or a private tour. This time we are going on a Rabbi's Loch Ness day trip. Last tour of the trip. Lunch stop will be down at Fort Augustus, right at the south tip. You'll get some food there. And we'll see every bit of the, of the walk today. The tour got off to a great start, as our first stop was Dawes, a tiny village on the eastern side of the famous Loch Ness. I said to you yesterday that I want to be very close to the Loch Ness, so I'm going to touch the water. It doesn't smell like uh, seawater. He, he did say it's fresh water, isn't it? It's, well, it's fresh water with a bit of salt. Yeah. So the tour guide said that there is a guy called Steve around here and he is a Nessie hunter. Since 1991, Steve dedicated his life to the search for Nessie. His story is definitely inspiring as it really encourages you to follow your dreams and live a life that focuses on your passion. If you want to know more about Steve and his search for Nessie, please note the website has been updated to nessiehunter.co.uk. After exploring the edge of Loch Ness and finding out a bit about Steve's story, we got back onto the tour bus and headed towards our next stop, the Falls of Foyers. So at the moment, we are just checking out the Falls of Foyers. What a beautiful area, very, very green. The tour guide said the waterfall is still pretty dramatic which is very cool. Also, I've just noticed there's something up in the tree. That's a little birdhouse. This is like a proper forest, a proper dense, beautiful forest. We actually get 35 minutes to explore this area, which I think is incredible. It is quite a way down. I didn't expect it to go down so far. So it's great because you get to do a nature trail as well as see other things along the way. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. They look so much bigger in real life than they do on this camera. This is like a hidden paradise. Wow. Do you think you can swim in there? Oh, I would love to swim in there. The water actually looks really clear as well. I know it sounds weird, but it doesn't even feel like Scotland. It feels like some kind of a magical tropical paradise. One thing I love about these tours is as you drive through the highlands, the scenery never gets boring and you can't help but stare out of the window. Because the landscape quickly changes between open locks and rugged terrain, the time on the tour flies quickly. And before we know it, we are at our next stop, Fort Augustus. We have arrived at Fort Augustus to grab some food, probably at the Caledonian Canal Centre. The only other fort I properly visited before in Scotland was Fort William. So I think first we're gonna grab some lunch, then have a look at some souvenirs, and then do some sightseeing. We've got about an hour, an hour and five minutes here, so we've got plenty of time. We just stopped at the Caledonian Centre in Fort Augustus. John got a spicy bean burger, and I got a soup. Oh my God. <laughs> That is the coolest magnet ever. Is that magnet? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The monster magnet in the wee box. John, we could get Larry a Nessie toy. Yeah, we could do. But it's like 10 quid. Yeah, that's quite a bit. We can get that one. <laughs> it's gonna destroy it. Oh, he would love it. I'm afraid Larry won't really appreciate this as much as I do. Well, no, they're in prison. So this is Fort Augustus. It is drizzling a bit, but we've actually been very lucky with the weather today, especially when you compare it to yesterday. So we can still walk around quite comfortably. I do have wellies on, 
just in case, but um, yeah, it's a nice day. I'm taking a lot of inspiration right now for my Sims 4 Cottage Living expansion pack build. A little interesting fact about Fort Augustus, there are only around 646 people living here. And to me, the numbers of these small towns are just incredible because I can just imagine everybody knowing each other and everybody knowing each business and it being like a soap, basically. Do you want to get a Christmas deck? Yes. The unicorn is a national animal of Scotland. We collect a special Christmas decoration every year. The unicorn from Scotland is going to be ours for this year. And we're also picking up some shortbread. That is a, uh, a yassified Nessie. We absolutely loved our time in Fort Augustus. This is also where we picked up most of our souvenirs. I would 100% recommend stopping here for a little break while you're on your journey through the Highlands. So we are currently in Invermoriston to look at some more natural wonders and this beautiful white cottage. This is all just big inspiration for me for my cottage buildings in The Sims 4. <laughs> convinced John to go on a boat. I'm very excited about it. This is like the highlight for me. They'll get you sorted very cool. soon, alright? Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, stay inside as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going on a cruise around the Loch Ness and we're going to see the castle as well. And the way the cruise works is that if you go on this tour, you express your interest to go on the cruise to the tour guide and he sorts everything out for you. The biggest reason I picked this particular tour was because of the focus on Loch Ness, the most famous lake in Scotland. This stretch of water is a place of ancient lore and legends that have captured the imaginations of people from all over the world. We appreciated that every part of the journey, from the tour bus to the boat, was narrated with stories about history and legends surrounding this incredible region. Even though we did consider staying inside and avoiding the rain, the minute we set off, we were out on that deck. So one of the big selling points of this boat trip is seeing Urca Castle or getting panoramic views of Urca Castle. It just looks so beautiful, so historic, and it, it kind of just makes me think how incredible is it to live in a country with so many castles and so many fortresses and so much history. Brew here, and then you've got a Scottish castle behind you. On the Loch Ness. On the Loch Ness. This is the most Scottish trip ever. You can get another type of ticket, which I believe allows you to go around the castle and have a full tour of the castle. This is just a boat ride and to also get some panoramic views. Yeah. As well as allegedly being the home of Nessie, also known as the Loch Ness Monster, Loch Ness contains more fresh water by volume than all of the lakes in England and Wales combined, making it the largest body of water in the UK. Loch Ness also never freezes over. It stays cold year-round and has a dark color due to the high peat content from the surrounding hills. It's easy to see why some believe that there may be something lurking under the surface. On our journey, we didn't catch a glimpse of Nessie, but this just makes us more eager to return and try again next time. Did you enjoy the boat ride? Yeah, it was good. The amount of stuff that we did in these last six days was insane. We've also got a whiskey shop here, so after you get off the boat, you can go in and do some shopping. We finished the tour. Our very last stop in Inverness is Leaky's bookstore. I need to find the entrance. I hope we can find it. It is supposed to be open until 5.30. Here it is. If you are a lover of books, Leaky's Bookshop is the one place you absolutely have to visit in Inverness. Set inside this stunning building is Scotland's largest secondhand bookshop. It's where you would find the rare first editions. And when you're inside, it really feels like you've discovered a place straight out of a storybook. 
Leaky's Bookshop, as we have discovered, also has an incredible collection of antique maps and prints. I was instantly fascinated, and although we didn't plan on making a purchase, we came across something that was incredibly difficult to leave behind. I highly recommend visiting Leaky's Bookshop, as you may find something amazing too. We just went in here and um, we made a very big purchase. Honestly, I just wanted to go in to have a look at the beautiful bookshop, but we ended up with some Illuminati antique things. 